Currently, I have two panels stacked on top of each other. The top panel has two tabs, History and Attribute Editor. If I select one of these objects, the attributes of that object is presented in this panel. I can change those attributes however I like. Let's try that out. OK, so I have just extruded this face. Note that the resolution of the object is the same as when I created it. Now, I'm going over to the Modifier Stack tab on the lower panel. I can see all the actions that I've applied to this object. Different tools are treated as modifiers. I'm going to select the top modifier, which is the tool that I use to create this object. I can see the same information that was present when I first created my object. Unlike LightWave 9.6, however, I'm free to change my attributes at any time. Now, I want to add more detail to this object. As I do so, notice how the extrusion that I made remains intact. Understand, I'm not subdividing this object or adding resolution to it in any other way. I'm changing the original attributes, and those attributes are re-evaluated throughout the stack. Next to the Attribute tab is a tab labeled History. Clicking on this tab will show the History stack. As you can see, everything that we've been doing in this session is tracked by History. We can essentially go back in time and make adjustments to those actions as needed. On the surface, this may seem similar to what you can do with the modifier stack. And to a degree, it is. The main difference is that the modifier stack is object specific, whereas the history stack relates to actions that occur within the entire scene. This panel shows us our scene in an indented tree view one of several different ways we can manage and display data in LightWave Core. The outline panel shows a simple list of items. If you need to build a hierarchy, I just drag and drop items where I want them to go. I can even drag whole chains and parent them as needed. To assist with large amount of data, navigation buttons are at the top of the panel that allows you to move up and down hierarchies as well as return to the home view. As you can see, we have two planes drawing in the window. The darker plane is the ground plane, quite similar to the one in LightWave 9.6. The other plane, however, is the construction plane. Construction planes are used to make modeling easier. You're free to orient the construction plane as needed for whatever work you do. Instancing is the duplication of object meshes, cameras, and other scene items, while maintaining a connection to the parent. Instancing allows for this duplication with a very small memory footprint. Essentially, the scene graph shows a connection to an instance of a node. A transform node is added to the duplicate node to indicate a new location, orientation, and so on. The geometry itself is actually referenced from the original node and not physically duplicated in memory. This efficiency really shows off the benefits when you instance hundreds, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of objects in a scene. In fact, there's really no limit to the amount of instances you can create in LightWave Core. Brush-based tools are starting to become very popular in 3D. And with tools like Wacom Cintiq, it makes it really powerful and fun. As you can see, I'm making freehand strokes, and Core interprets these strokes and creates full 3D shapes, just by me drawing squigglies with a brush. This tool was literally put together in just a few hours, and we're very excited to see where we can go with this type of technology. But there are other things that I would like to show you such as deformation. As we mentioned earlier, LightWave Core supports the industry standard Python language. Let's take a look. It's not working. I mentioned earlier 
that LightWave Core supports the industry standard Python language. There are two ways to work with Python in LightWave Core, the text editor and the command line. The command line is interactive. It processes Python commands immediately. As soon as you type in a Python script or an expression, it will be processed. You can even type a Python command or a script into any edit field in LightWave Core. You can use the text editor to create more elaborate scripts or just play. The text editor also has syntax highlighting. To show you how this works, we're going to paste a short little Python script into the editor and run the script. Notice how the script has created a torus. Of course, we could have created a torus primitive just as easily. But this gives you the idea. Well, we have managed to show you some pretty cool stuff today, and we've given you a good overview as to what LightWave Core is. And now we have another thing to talk about, the Hardcore Membership Program. Well, now that we've revealed what LightWave Core is all about, we want you to be the first to get your hands on it. You can start working with LightWave Core in weeks, yes, I said weeks, as a member of our elite LightWave Hardcore team. Our first LightWave Core build is slated for delivery in Q1. In addition to being the first to get LightWave Core builds, there are also a ton of other great benefits. You save money with special pricing, always important these days. You gain access to exclusive hardcore forums. In these forums, we will discuss in detail core developments, features, and so on. You'll receive additional improvements to LightWave version 9X. You will be part of a members-only community hosted by a LightWave core managers and developers. There will be exclusive technology updates and presentations such as this one you're viewing right now. You'll enjoy hardcore-only training events and videos. You'll receive VIP invitations to special events, a personalized membership card, and a cool LightWave hardcore t-shirt. And hey, you all know you're really in this for the t-shirt. Hardcore is open only to registered LightWave V9 users, so if you aren't a LightWave user yet, or you haven't upgraded to LightWave version 9, now is the time. LightWave version 9 owners can buy in as charter members for $395. Don't delay, because after March 31st, the price goes up to $495. For anyone who hasn't upgraded to LightWave V9, buy your upgrade program for $495 and get one year membership to Hardcore. For those of you who are into 3D but haven't yet discovered the joy of LightWave yet, we have a companion upgrade offer for you. You too can upgrade to LightWave for $5.95 and also receive a one-year membership. But the companion upgrade won't last forever. It's going to